And so, can you just give us uh, the update on the power and water situation? Uh, just a few minutes ago, Rhoda was uh, Rhoda Health Center was energized. Uh, that was the priority when uh, the guys went out. They first did their assessment and then uh, they prioritized the feeder that the hospital could get energized on. They did some diversion work and they uh, repaired a lot of uh, hardware along the way to get to the hospital. And so we're very um, relieved to know that the hospital is now on the grid and uh, uh, because they were having also generator issues. So that's the status with um, the energized area right now, and that is in Song Song Village. The water situation was turned on uh, yesterday, uh, just before 3 p.m., and it took some time to pressurize. Um, uh, around 5 o'clock, Sinapalo area was starting to receive water. However, it took a little longer to get water down to Song Song, which was the hospital, and so we were monitoring that closely. And uh, we were happy to hear that as of this morning, the water services to the hospital was doing was doing really good. Um, there was a little downside, uh, the PSI, the pressure of the water dropped down a little bit. So that is indicative of uh, water leaks. And so they've already identified uh, four areas that's causing, I mean, that's obviously draining the water. And uh, we're sure, we're thinking we're gonna find more as we start to clear up and assess the area more. Um, the crew is planning to isolate these areas so they could get some repairs. So there will be some inter intermittent services to the residents, but we'll put out some notices on those areas so that they're aware, um, you know, ahead of time that those, those, their water will be turned off. So how many people are without power right now? I would say that with the hospital being energized as a priority, um, that might have connected about an additional 50 to 60 residents. Again, that's my estimation, but still hundreds without power. yes, and so there's still about 800 people with uh, 800 residents or facilities without power. And so, what's the estimated timeline, or what, what work is being done to restore? Um, right now, that, that those calculations are being done right now based on how quick they went with uh, the the line to the hospital. Um, we're going to now do calculations to see how we can get and how we can energize now the other village, which is the the bulk of the of Rhoda's residents, Sinapalo. All right, and then uh, is there any update on how many crews, linemen, equipment is being sent to Rhoda or, or even Juan in here? Yes, uh, we are sending two bucket trucks and eight line crew to, to Rhoda. Um, we are also sending three other, um, an engineer and surveyor and another technician to help out with the assessment so that we could understand really what we need and, and therefore plan on how quick we can move. Uh, we are also sending an additional five water crew, including an engineer and uh, some leak detections to help with the leaks and a couple of guys to help with the repairs. At this point, I, um, I, I plan to communicate with Guam this afternoon. Um, our hearts are with them. They are our partners, utility partners. And I know right now uh, they are just trying to um, assess and get out of, you know, the damages that they have. But And then now they're probably planning the utility work. So I, at this point I don't have a, a, a definite answer to that one. So the focus is on Rota for now? For now. And then if the sooner we move on Rota, the, the quicker also we can assist with Guam. Yes.